As a seasoned journalist with a passion for unraveling the intricacies of the music industry, delving into the mysteries surrounding Shaba ranks is like embarking on a captivating journey through the annals of reggae and dancehall music history. With a career marked by both rapid rise and tumultuous controversy, Shaba Ranks once reigned as the undisputed king of dancehall, captivating audiences around the world with his infectious beats radiance and charismatic presence on stage. However, amidst the praise, there are hidden a series of conflicting opinions that sparked debates and left an indelible mark on his journey. Rexton Gordon, born on January 17, 1966, in the humble surroundings of Sturge Township, St. Anne, Jamaica, Rexton Gordon, better known as Shaba Ranks, was destined to leave an indelible mark on the music world. Raised amidst the gritty streets of Seaview Gardens in Kingston, he could have succumbed to the harsh realities of his environment. However, it was precisely this backdrop that ignited his passion for music and set him on a path to stardom. Despite the challenges of his upbringing, Shaba recognized his innate musical talent early on. His formative years in Kingston provided the fertile ground for his artistic development. At the age of eight, his family relocated to the bustling capital city, affording him access to a vibrant music scene that would shape his destiny. As a teenager, Shaba had a transformative encounter that would alter the course of his life. While working as a bottle collector at a local event, he was captivated by the performance of emerging artist Josie Wales. Enthralled by the power of music, Shaba resolved to pursue his own musical aspirations with unwavering determination. However, his journey to success was not without its setbacks. Expelled from high school for his rebellious behavior, Shaba faced the daunting prospect of navigating a precarious future. Reflecting on his tumultuous upbringing, he candidly acknowledged the pervasive influence of his environment, admitting, Aruba has no rough men. Confronting the specter of violence and despair that loomed over his community, Shaba defied the odds to transcend the limitations imposed upon him. As his star ascended in the music industry, Shaba remained steadfast in his commitment to uplifting the youth who shared his background. Drawing from his own experiences, he sought to impart a message of hope and resilience to those grappling with similar challenges. Through his music and advocacy, he endeavored to instill a sense of empowerment in a generation often marginalized by society's preconceptions. In a chance encounter that would alter the course of Shaba's career, Josie imparted invaluable advice to the young musician, urging him to reconsider the company he kept. This pivotal moment led to an invitation that would spark a fire within Shaba, an invitation to Josie's recording studio. The prospect of stepping into the studio filled Shaba with an excitement so palpable that sleep eluded him that night. Little did he know that this studio, destined to become one of the nation's largest, would serve as the launching pad for his illustrious career. Under the mentorship of the esteemed producer King Jammy, Shaba, then just 16 years old, embraced the opportunity to showcase his talent as a DJ. Adopting the moniker, co-pilot, Shaba embarked on his musical journey, releasing his debut single, Heat Under Sufferer's Feet, in 1985. Though his early efforts flew under the radar of mainstream audiences, they laid the groundwork for future success. In 1988, Shaba released his inaugural album, Rappin' with the Ladies, marking his formal entry into the music scene. Despite its modest reception, this album paved the way for a series of releases on a small independent label in Queens, New York. It was during this period that Shaba's music began to evolve, culminating in the creation of the iconic track, Dembo, from his sophomore album, Just Reality. The infectious rhythm of Dembo would go on to influence the landscape of popular music, particularly in the emergence of Puerto Rican reggaeton. Shaba's distinctive persona, characterized by his suave demeanor, signature Gumby hairstyle, and lavish attire, captivated audiences worldwide, propelling him into the limelight. In 1991, Shaba inked a deal with Epic Records, catapulting him to new heights of success. His first project under this label, as raw as ever, garnered widespread acclaim, earning him his first Grammy Award for Best Reggae Album. Undeterred by his newfound fame, Shaba continued to push boundaries with the release of his sophomore album, XTRA Naked, in 1992. Featuring chart-topping hits such as, Ting A Lin, and, Slow and Sexy. Shaba solidified his status as a musical icon. Collaborations with renowned artists like Johnny Gill and Maxi Priest further cemented his reputation as a trailblazer in the industry. Shaba Ranks, 
riding high on the waves of success, reached a pinnacle with a song that resonated far beyond the shores of Jamaica. Devotees of Shaba's early career would instantly recognize this track from his debut album, an iconic anthem that would come to define his legacy. Originally penned by British Guyanese artist Deborahi Glasgow under the title, Champion Lover. The song underwent a poignant transformation following Glasgow's untimely passing at the age of 29 due to lymphoma. In a heartfelt tribute to his late colleague, Shaba opted to re-record the tune, enlisting the vocal talents of Chevelle Franklin. However, amidst the euphoria of his burgeoning success, Shaba would soon find himself thrust into the eye of a storm. In a fateful interview on the British music program, The Word, Shaba was confronted with a controversial topic that would rock the foundations of his career and the dancehall scene at large. Asked to weigh in on the contentious themes of the hit song, Boom Bye Bye, by fellow dancehall artist Buju Banton, Shaba's response ignited a firestorm of condemnation. Buju's track had stirred fierce controversy for its perceived homophobic lyrics, drawing the ire of advocacy groups such as the Gay and Lesbian Alliance Against Defamation, GLAD. In a moment that would reverberate across the globe, Shaba's remarks on the show were met with widespread outrage. The repercussions were swift and severe. Shaba found himself unceremoniously dropped from Bobby Brown's tour, while in the UK, he faced the ignominy of being labeled a troublemaker by the authorities. Forced to withdraw from a festival amidst mounting pressure and negative press, Shaba was left grappling with the fallout of his words. In the aftermath of the storm, Shaba issued a public statement expressing regret for his remarks, acknowledging the harm they had caused and disavowing violence against any individual, regardless of sexual orientation. It was a sobering moment of introspection for the embattled artist, a humbling reminder of the power of words and the responsibility that comes with wielding influence. The fallout from the controversy surrounding Shaba ranks extended far beyond the boundaries of his own career, casting a shadow over the entire dancehall genre. In the wake of his contentious remarks, artists across the spectrum found themselves ensnared in a web of cancellations and label dismissals. Visas and work permits became elusive commodities, with promoters shying away from booking certain acts and less stringent agreements were in place to restrict their repertoire. The repercussions reverberated through the industry, with subsequent albums from Shaba and his peers receiving lukewarm reviews at best. By the following year, Shaba faced the stark reality of being dropped from his record label, a crushing blow to an artist who had once stood at the pinnacle of success. In the face of adversity, Shaba made the decision to retreat from the spotlight. Seeking solace in the embrace of his family, relocating from Jamaica to the United States, he turned his focus towards nurturing his familial bonds and creating a stable environment for his loved ones. It was during this period of introspection and renewal that Shaba found himself drawn back to the music that had always been his lifeblood. With his children now older, he felt the call of the stage once more, embarking on a journey of resurgence and redemption. In April 2011, Shaba marked his triumphant return to the spotlight with the release of the single, None Odd Dam, signaling his re-emergence onto the musical landscape. Alongside his wife Michelle, whom he had married in 1992, Shaba embraced the joys of parenthood, cherishing the bond he shared with his two sons, Rexton Jr. and Jawan. In a candid interview with Jamaica's onstage entertainment news channel in 2012, Shaba reflected on the values instilled in him by his parents and the importance of family in his life. He spoke warmly of his enduring marriage, a rarity in the often tumultuous world of dancehall, and credited his parents' example for inspiring his commitment to building a strong and loving household of his own. After a decade-long hiatus, Shaba Ranks made a triumphant return to his homeland, Jamaica, to headline Sumfest, the region's largest music festival, celebrating its 20th anniversary. Yet, beneath the surface of his homecoming lay a palpable sense of disillusionment with the state of the Jamaican dancehall music scene. In candid remarks, Shaba lamented the lack of evolution within the industry, decrying the prevalence of cutthroat competition among artists, an environment akin to a barrel of crabs each vying for their own ascent. Addressing his own sparse output of music in recent years, Shaba underscored the business acumen that underscored his decisions, affirming his commitment to maintaining the integrity of his craft amidst commercial pressures. The following year, Shaba received a prestigious invitation from American television channel BET to participate in a reggae and dancehall music performance slated for their annual awards show. Alongside a lineup of esteemed artists, 
Shaba was poised to showcase his talent on a global stage. However, his absence from the event raised eyebrows and sparked speculation. Shaba, in a subsequent interview, revealed the circumstances behind his decision to forego the opportunity. Displeased with the logistical arrangements that would require him to share the stage with multiple artists simultaneously, he opted to prioritize the integrity of his performance. Moreover, Shaba voiced his frustration with Bet's perceived marginalization of the genre. Accusing the network of relegating reggae and dancehall to the sidelines until it suited their agenda. Interestingly, Shaba's sentiments found resonance with fellow Jamaican dancehall artist Patra, who echoed similar concerns regarding Bet's treatment of the genre. Reflecting on his business dealings, Shaba expressed regret over misplaced trust in individuals who ultimately betrayed him, a sobering reminder of the pitfalls inherent in the cutthroat world of entertainment. Despite periods of obscurity when his work went unheard, Shaba's impact resonates globally, a testament to the enduring power of his artistry. Throughout his journey, Shaba has remained steadfast in his appreciation for those who have supported him, extending gratitude to collaborators like American hip-hop artist ASAP Ferg for their collaboration on the aptly titled track, Shaba, in 2013. His influence transcends borders, as evidenced by his appearance in the accompanying music video, a testament to his enduring relevance in the ever-evolving landscape of music. In recognition of his immeasurable contributions to the music industry, Shaba has been the recipient of numerous accolades and honors. From the prestigious order of excellence bestowed upon him at the Governor General's House in Kingston in 2016 to the esteemed Heritage Award recognizing his unwavering dedication to the Jamaican community, Shaba's legacy is etched in the annals of music history. Earlier this year, amidst personal loss, Shaba offered a poignant tribute to his beloved mother who passed away at the age of 81. In a heartfelt graveside speech that resonated with all who were present, Shaba honored his mother's profound influence on his life. From instilling in him a love for God to imparting the resilience to persevere in the face of adversity, his mother's unwavering support served as a beacon of strength throughout his journey. In a touching moment of reflection, Shaba expressed how his mother's love had shaped his capacity to love others drawing parallels between his devotion to her and the profound impact it had on his relationships. His words encapsulated the depth of his gratitude and the enduring legacy of love that continues to animate his life and work. Shaba Ranks is a Jamaican dance star, with a reported net worth of $1,500,000 as of April 2024. Shaba lives in an apartment with his wife and two sons Rexton Jr. and Jawin in New York City, the epitome of life modern urban living. Situated in a vibrant neighborhood, Shaba's abode boasts a spacious and inviting layout, featuring two bedrooms and two baths designed in the classic railroad style. As you step through the entrance, you are greeted by a sleek kitchen adorned with top-of-the-line furnishings imported from Germany. Soft close cabinets, quartz countertops, and modern backsplashes elevate the culinary experience, while Bloomberg stainless steel appliances, including a five-burner stove with illuminated knobs, promise both style and functionality. The dining, living space beckons with abundant natural light streaming in from the west, leading seamlessly to an expansive terrace offering breathtaking views of the cityscape. Perfect for entertaining or simply unwinding after a long day, this outdoor oasis adds a touch of luxury to everyday living. Venturing further into the apartment, one discovers the serenity of the two spacious bedrooms tucked away in the hallway to the right of the entrance. Each bedroom boasts ample closet space, large windows, and access to a private balcony, allowing residents to bask in the tranquility of their surroundings. The bathrooms exude opulence with porcelain tiled floors, dual flush toilets, and elegant fixtures. The guest bathroom features a whirlpool soaking tub with jetted and handheld showerheads, offering a rejuvenating escape from the hustle and bustle of city life. Meanwhile, the master bedroom boasts an ensuite bathroom complete with a luxurious walk in shower, providing a sanctuary of comfort and relaxation. In Shaba's New York City apartment, every detail has been meticulously curated to create a harmonious blend of style, comfort, and sophistication. It is not just a place to live, but a testament to his success and an embodiment of his commitment to excellence in all aspects of life. In the ever evolving landscape of the music industry, Despite the controversies that once threatened to overshadow his legacy, his music endures, reminding us of the transformative potential of redemption. We wish him to soon return to the peak of his career. Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel if you like it.
Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Goodbye.